What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we explored the Boggly Woods a little bit, found Flurry's necklace, and now, well, it's time for us to return it to her. So, here you go, Miss Flurry. Oh, you delightful fellow. You found my necklace. I'm besides myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Alright, whatever you say, you weirdo. You know, as if we couldn't see her when she opened the door. Oh, splendid, splendid! My oh-so-ravishing necklace! I'm awash in joy! Uh-oh. Here we go, bring out the disco music! Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my word! Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, my, my! Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Mario's like, no way, man, no! Here I come, handsome! Time to give you a proper thank you! Pucker up! Brace yourselves! Man down! Oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on! Yes, you are, and that's that! So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal star spoken of by all the lowlives in Rogueport. Hmm, a danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. How absurdly marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Uh, okay, I guess? So yeah, just like that, Flurry has sort of joined our party, although I really don't think we had much of a choice in the manner. But here we go, Flurry's ability, a primer. Press X, and Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make his head spin for a bit, thus stunning the enemy, actually. Hold down X to make Flurry exhale continuously. So yeah, she can blow for like a short period of time, or if we uh, hold down the X button, we can continue like blowing wind, which is pretty useful, honestly. She can also do a body slam in battle, squashing enemies with her stage presence. Yeah, nice save there, game. She can also aid Mario by using her Gale Force attack to blow enemies away, which uh, makes them leave the battlefield, but you also don't get star points if you use that, so not exactly the most useful thing ever. This is wonderful! It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great! And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us! Let's go to the Great Tree! Alright, sounds like a plan, little buddy. Now, uh, to save us some time, I think I'm just gonna cut and I'll meet you guys once we get back to the Great Tree. Alright, so we made it back to the Great Tree, now we just gotta find that secret entrance. Don't worry though, it's not too hard to find. Just go up this branch to where uh, Punio was standing before when he was telling us about the secret entrance, and if we use Flurry's ability, we can blow away this invisible thingy. That's the secret entrance! We can finally get inside! Here I go! Hey, Punio, you lied! You said there wasn't gonna be a giant sign! Aren't punies just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize... I shall ever love the stage! I must feel the spotlight shine on me again! 
I must! As you can see, these dear little punies help me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Oh, thank God, Punio. Just in time. Check it out! I was able to open it from the inside. Come on, over here! The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Yeah, and it turns out Flurry has, like, the deepest lore of all the Paper Mario partners. I'm just joking. You know, for as much crap as I'm giving Flurry, she's actually a really useful party member, so I'm gonna stop doing that. Anyways, here we are inside the tree. Uh, hmm, weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out. Hello? Uh-oh, maybe we shouldn't have been so loud. Wha- who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that- isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. But dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head! If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh! Oh yeah, right on! Let's rock this jump! One, two, three, break! You guys know I could hear you, right? Like, I was standing right there. Anyways, though, here's our first encounter with some X-Not. So, they only have 4 HP, 0 defense, and I believe they have 3 attack. Although, they can also buff themselves up by drinking some potions. Generally speaking, though, they're nothing to worry about. If one does buff itself up, I would say prioritize that target just because you should at this point be able to take them out in uh, one turn. And hey, look at that. That guy is buffing himself up. Thank goodness he's the only one left. And um, yeah, as you guys just saw, Flurry's body slam ability is pretty easy to use. Just line up the cursor inside the uh, circle and you'll pretty much get the action command every single time. So... Yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Now, you do want to be careful, though, because uh, Flurry can get hurt if she jumps on a spiked enemy, so... Yeah, like, any stage hazards that would hurt Mario would also hurt Flurry. C crud That stung, man! Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. Yeah, that's right, get out of here, ex-scum. And, of course, they lock the door. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go! But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Hey, I saw that back there. What do you think you're doing? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come on out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. I like how he just drags him out. He, he's huge. Uh, are you sure your huge mustachioed man won't try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of them. He's massive. I don't like him. He'll crush us. Danger. Nice stash. It scares me so burly. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys, Mario will stomp every one of them, just like those last goons. Yeah, come on, guys. Come on out. It's fine. Is this it? There are so few. Well, we'll have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario! Wait! How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them! Juniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them! Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase these goons out of here! We can take back our tree! We can take back our homes! Huh! Big bad Punio, listen to yourself, trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. What? What are you talking about, Puniper? And why are there so few of you here anyways? What happened to everybody? Well, they've been captured by those goons. 
the elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Petuni, tell me it isn't so. Oh, it's all right. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we never heard of it. Oh, poor Petuni. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The cursed Jabby tribe is in league with them. They're hoping to make this tree their own once we've all been driven from it. This is it for us. The end. And adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. Hey! How can you say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take care of any stupid jabbies. So who's with me, huh? Come on, everybody. Let's pool our strength. Huh. Punio, Punio, Punio. You have to convince me because I think you're nuts. What's that supposed to mean? Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Ha, like that'll ever happen, please. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario, right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help them. All right, yeah, we'll show you, puniper, you little punk. Let's go find those other punies then. And thankfully, this tree has a ton of pipes that we can make use of, because, uh, those weren't there. We'd kind of be stuck. Now, real quick, if we stand on this glowing platform, you'll notice that the number goes down from 10 to 9. Really can't do anything with that right now, but figured I would point it out. Anyways, let's keep using these pipes to, uh, scale the tree, and keep an eye out for those missing punies. Pretty sure in this bush right over here, yeah, we can get ourselves another power punch, which I kind of do want to keep, since, um, might be kind of useful for the boss of this chapter. So I guess I'll get rid of, uh, the sleepy sheep, because I really don't ever use those anyways. And let's get ourselves into another fight, shall we? Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, there is a new type of enemy. So that green thing in the background is a yucks. Whenever you see those things, you're pretty much going to want to take them out first, because... What happens is, if you give them a free turn, they're going to sort of replicate and spawn a mini yux. And when they spawn mini yuxes, uh, they create force fields around themselves, and you can't actually hurt the main yux until you take out the mini yux. So, yeah, you're going to want to kill those guys as quickly as you can. Otherwise, they'll keep spawning mini yuxes until they get to around four of them, and uh, it's just a pain to get rid of them at that point. So, trust me, focus down the yuxes. They are not fun to fight at all but um yeah they only have like three hp uh two attack and zero defense so as long as they don't have force fields around them they're pretty easy to take out their lasers are the most annoying thing about them and they can shoot them from far away all right that battle took way longer than it should have but at least we did get a level up out of it so uh, i think the next thing we're supposed to level up is hp if i'm not mistaken so Let's go with that, although I probably could have gone with BP and would have been fine. Like, we really don't need a whole lot of HP in this game, believe it or not. Still, it's nice to have. Alright, so now that that is done, let's just continue going up the tree. And hey, what's going on with this guy? Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it. And they live here. After all this pointless searching, I'm thinking we're looking in the wrong place. Hey, wait a minute, I know that shadow. Um, ouch? I wonder what she's doing here. And hey, look at that, another puny! We found one, Elder! Punio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is our daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Hmm, Big Brother? Think. Where was I? Is oh, that yes, my Punio? Right. Your question. The rest of the punies. 
Unfortunately... Petuni! Thank heavens! You're here! You're safe! I knew you'd come for me, Punio! I just knew it! Of course I would, dear sister! And I've brought us a mighty ally! Look at him! We're gonna get you out of there right away, I swear! You just hold tight a second! Okay! Couldn't they just, like, squeeze through the bars? Mario, listen! We've gotta find the cell key or we're going nowhere! Alright, well, let's look for it then. I suppose we can go left, because that's really the only other option we have. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Excuse me? You must what? You a friend of Mario's? Oh, wait. I see, and I most certainly do not approve. Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Only problem is, I've been running into more trouble than I expected. Hmm, <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Oh, mercy me, Mario! You're popular with all the girls, aren't you? The precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> Take care, my handsome mustache superstar. Let's get together again soon. Well, don't worry, Mario. I'm not too jealous. What a shameless flirt, though. Who are you to judge me, Flurry? Uh-oh. He's back. Oh, am I aching? Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, and you get dirty, and I'll be doing the dirting. What? <laughs> well, that wasn't really worth your time. It was just uh, one singular x knot, but it was required because now we got ourselves the red key. Also, there's a chest pack here that contains an ultra shroom. All right, so yeah, like I said, that restores 50 HP. Uh, let's get rid of one of our honey serps for it, because there's really no need to have, like, three of them. In that battle with those, uh, really long yuxes where we got that level up, Luigi was in the crowd, and, uh, he kept throwing me honey serps, even though I wasn't even using FP, so that's why I had, like, so many of them. Alright, so let's free the Elder. Elder, we're back! We're here to rescue you! Foolish child! Punio, sit down, assistant, and keep your mouth shut! Huh? What? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but, Elder, I just went to find help, to help rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an Elder mid-lecture. Never! You wonder why the other punies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why! And your time to be a doofus is over because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later... Or else, you got that? From now on, you've got to get your act together, punio. Yes, Elder. Yes, I understand. Bah! Only answer once! But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already, criminy. This cell is cold, which isn't good for the old back. And there's this damp stench. Typical old people, man, I'm telling you. They can either be really nice or really mean. Oh, uh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. I like how Mario and Flurry have just, like, completely passed out. Just you wait, Petuni. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be waiting. Okay, now that that whole ordeal is over, let's get out of here and make our way back down to the, uh, base of the tree. That way we can talk to the Elder and all the other punies that we met before. And, uh, yeah, if you jump off a cliff, the punies will not follow you. So although, uh, Punio is no longer with us, that doesn't really matter at this point in the game. 
Because the game sort of has like a um, fail save built in if you do lose track of Punia. So once we actually get back to the Elder, there he is. Look at that. He's with us. Well, if it isn't Punio. Humph. You heard me. Humph. I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. That doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help you until you do. You stubborn mule! Oh, now you've done it. Deplorable, how dare you talk like that knowing what we're up against. We must stand together now. We must take back our tree. Don't you understand that? But, but Elder... Shut your trap, Puniper, and mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio here. What do you say your name was again? It was, er, uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario, he's Mario, I mean, jeez, he's only world famous, come on! Yes, yes, simmer down, you, and everyone else, help Mario clear out our tree. Oh, all right, Elder, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything, to tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petunie, too. And you're right, we have no choice, we must fight, right everybody? Oh sure, you'll listen to him. There you go, my punies, that's the spirit. And hooray, ten punies joined our party and now they're all around us. Thanks, you guys. Say, if you have a moment, might I ask a question? We're looking for a lovely gem called the Crystal Star. Do you know of it? The Crystal Star, eh? Hmm, yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? Alright, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty, or Mario, I'm thinking you'd better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Mario? Crystal Star, bottom part of the tree. Go to it. Alright, I got it. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get the Crystal Star, you must save all the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So here, you better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. Alright, cool. If you place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. That's kind of weird, but... Alright, so now we got the puny orb! Hooray! Alright, guys, let's go rescue everybody! Alright, let's do it! Oh, and one more thing, or not. So sorry, so sorry, I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Now then, where was I? Alright, on your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies and have a hard time finding them, just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give a whistle to call them back here. You got all that? Alright, I got it. Anyways, now that we have these punies, I think this is a good place to end off the video. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.